man. I'm on my way to the airport right now. I'll be away two days. I'd try to get some more resumes, will you? The girl that came in today, she looked like one of these skater punks. Okay. Get the hell off my property. Hi, Han. No, I guess I won't be on my way to the airport right now. Why well, can't I? I don't know. It just won't start. Oh, it's one of those punks coming over. But I'll call a tow truck and get back to you. Okay, bye. What's your problem? Why are you punks always hanging around this parking lot? We're not doing anything, just skating. I bet you're one of those jerks that put that graffiti on my back wall. That's not me and my friends. We don't do that. Well, I don't like to see you around here. I don't trust any of you. Do you mind if I take a look? What are you, 15, 16? 16, grade 11. Well, then, what do you expect? Yeah, yeah, I need a tow truck, flatbed, three hours. I need to get to the airport. Yes, I'll hold. What you doing? Start it up. Unbelievable. Sixteen. Here, take this. Oh no, I'm just glad I could help. Sixteen. Put the fork on top of the knife, roll it up. There you go. I think yours looks better than mine. <laughs> have to roll it a bit tighter. See? Don't worry, you'll have lots of practice. You also have to make sure each table has a centerpiece. Oh, there's one of our old regulars, Mackenzie King's uncle. Who's Mackenzie King? that little bronze boy outside of school. He comes in every day, sits at the same table, and orders the same thing. So depressing. Sometimes I catch him talking to himself. If I'm ever that pathetic, somebody shoot me. Well, maybe he just needs a friend. Oh, he has a friend, Maxwell House. Two milks, three sweeteners. 
and two slices of lemon meringue pie. Eats one here, takes one home for later. You sure? Trust me. I'll have two pieces of lemon meringue pie, a coffee, two creams, and, and three, three sweeteners. sweeteners. What were you doing over there? Bringing your coffee? No. Pas de beurre. How do you know? You are a dancer, dear. Yeah, since I was three. My wife was a dancer. She used to do pirouettes in the kitchen every morning when she made breakfast. My dad says I could dance before I could walk. Mm. What was her name? Is Margaret. Oh. How come she never comes in with you? Well, we used to come here all the time. We'd come every Sunday and we would share the pie. But she doesn't remember anymore. She has Alzheimer's. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep taking the pie to her. She doesn't eat it anyway. Maybe today she will. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? I've worked here for two years now. I think it's time I tried the pie. Have I told you about my nephew, Mackenzie? I'm so sorry. Shit. Thanks, but I'm not gonna be using them. They're crap. Just suit yourself, but it's a waste of a great layout. Well, that asshole didn't think so. What asshole? Oh, the guy I just applied to in there? He said to come back when I dress myself. Well, you could wear a jacket. What? No offense, but if that's what you wore to apply for a job here, I can see why you got turned down. Whatever. Wait! That's you? I got turned down for a million jobs when I look like that. That's actually you. I know it sucks, but it's really just clothes and makeup. Yeah, I know what you mean. And that gentleman in there would be really impressed by a jacket and a collared shirt. And a cover letter. A cover letter? Yeah. Write him a letter about why you want to work for him and let him know what you'd have to offer. Coming from someone your age, he will be blown away. Right, but he already turned me down, so. But you're not gonna give up, are you? But he already turned me down. Do you really want this job? Yeah, I really do. Well then you go back in there and you convince him to hire you. 
I applied for my job six times before I even got an interview. Six times? Yeah. I work in the law office. They don't normally hire anyone under 30. I went in once a month for six months, and each time I submitted a different cover letter letting them know what I was working on and giving them a new reason to hire me. That's a lot of work. But on the sixth visit, I handed the package directly to the senior partner. He interviewed me and hired me on the spot. That was three years ago. I'm still the youngest administrator they've ever had. Wow. So, how long should a cover letter be? One page, tops. But listen, I've got to run. I would love to help you with this. Will you email me any questions? Seriously, anything. Will you do that? Yeah, I will. Thanks. And I'm sorry about the resumes. It was nice to meet you, Catherine. Oh, Emma. Good luck, Emma. Let me know how it goes. Um, thanks, I will. Sorry, I'm late. You're late. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. What I was does just... the clock say? 5.10. And what time is your appointment? 5 o'clock. Do you think I have nothing better to do than to sit and wait for parolees to check in? Do you realize that all I have to do is make one phone call and you're back to jail? Yeah, of course, just but... Just one phone call. Are you or are you not required by law to be prompt for all of your appointments? Of course I am. You just got to understand. Well, therefore, I cannot in good conscience sign your form today. This is the first time I'm late. I've been to all my group sessions. My counselor says I'm doing good. I got a job. That's nice, but it doesn't change anything. I've worked really, really hard for this. Well, it's not my problem. I've done everything I've been asked to do. I've been finishing up my credits. I got a good job, and I've been keeping good company. There's nothing I can do. Please. It wasn't me. Excuse me? Whoever it was that hurt you and made you this cold. It wasn't me. But I am sorry. Take care of yourself. Hi. It's me. My last appointment ran late. I'll be home soon. I love you. Bye.